Clouds of smoke from several large fires can be seen from space. Look, we just passed the whole fire. All that was that way. The California fire has been spreading for, for like, man, I, I don't know how long now. A couple of weeks at least. And it's just been getting closer and closer to us. And so far, a couple of our locations have been in California, so it's been a little bit more difficult for us to get to because we're always so worried that we're gonna have to turn around because of these fires. I don't know, I just feel like we've been getting pretty lucky lately. It was a cold night in Susanville, California in 1883 when the Lassen County Hospital was finished being constructed. Now this was the very first hospital in Susanville, California. This building was later replaced by an even bigger hospital in 1915, making it to where a lot more people can go and get treated. This was the perfect time of expanding the hospital because this was right before the huge hit of the Spanish flu in 1918. Unfortunately, the Spanish flu had hit all throughout the world, and even this small town in California was no exception. Later throughout the years, Susanville was constantly growing, so the hospitals knew that they needed to expand even more. In 1950, the hospital expanded to two more buildings. One of the newer buildings was originally called the Annex. Later on, they had decided to switch the name of the Annex and they had made the new section of the hospital the main part of the hospital. After all of these successful expansions, the hospital itself was doing great. But in 2004, Susanville had decided to build a brand new, bigger and better hospital, leaving the Lassen County Hospital there to rot. Now the Lassen County Hospital was so old that it could not stay afloat with its electricity causing a huge issue with their equipment and even people's lives. And there the building still sits on Hospital Lane with three souls left inside. The Lassen County Hospital is no stranger to paranormal activity. It is regarded as one of the most haunted places in all of Lassen County. Now, strangely enough, even though the building is incredibly haunted, there are only a handful of stories from when the building was actually operational. The first story, and also the oldest story, only comes from around 1970. This story begins with a woman who went into labor and suffered a very difficult pregnancy. She had to stay the night in the hospital, and upon awakening she was being checked on by an older looking nurse. The only strange part about her was that she smelled awful, and she just gave off the strangest and most unnerving presence in the room. Later, she had went to the staff and her other nurses and she asked them about this strange older nurse. To their knowledge, no one could recall that an older nurse that matched this description had worked there at this time. Now 
this doesn't exactly mean that she didn't work there previously, such as when the building was built. It's just that no one there had recognized her. And that's strange enough as it is. The next story comes from the spirit of a little girl named Ellie. Ellie is seen running through the hallways and oftentimes heard laughing. It seems almost as though she likes to play games with the patients there. A sadder side to this story, she is also heard crying, sometimes late at night. Now the third spirit is actually that of a tall and dark figure that seems to lurk the halls. Many people before and after its closure have seen him constantly. Whether he's peeking around corners or shortly after hearing a sound and turning around and in the corner of your eye catching a glimpse of him, he always seems to be there. And from what everyone can gather, he seems very angry. We were once inseparable. We were closer than two of a kind. The bond was almost palpable. Solemn the building has fallen victim to a large amount of vandalism and other vagrants staying the night there. It is almost believed that all of the activity here has spiked after the building had closed. Some believe this is because the spirits have become restless and angry at the fact that the place they reside has fallen into such disrepair and decay. The horrific fire of the building has burned completely through. And just take a look at this picture, the best singular image that we found tonight that captures the horror and the scope of this fire. A building setting off an inferno and causing it to collapse. The building was quickly engulfed in flames, and less than an hour after it began, the building collapsed. This is not going to be the very first time that we are actually visiting the Lassen County Hospital. We had actually taken a trip last year in November to go and try to do an investigation there, and unfortunately didn't catch much at all. But that did not mean that this place wasn't haunted. We had decided to plan another trip once it had gotten warmer. Two weeks later on December 13th of 2020, one of the buildings had actually caught on fire and burnt to the ground. This had us really in shock because we were just there and all of a sudden the building had caught on fire. Almost as if that was kind of bad luck. Stories are saying that the fire was caused by a homeless man who was living there trying to keep warm with the fire during the winter and unfortunately he had lit the annex on fire. Not long while the fire was burning, the Susanville Fire Department had actually made it to the scene before the fire could burn the building down, but they had decided that they would just focus on the surroundings of the building so that the fire would not spread to the forest, thus letting most of the building burn to the ground. So without further ado, welcome to another episode of Abandoned and Afraid. Please get our limited merch. Okay, I know you've seen us here walking around, checking things out. I'd like to introduce all four of us. My name is Ryan. The guy to the right of me, his name is Nick. The guy standing right in front of me, his name is River. And the guy standing right next to him, I'm pointing at him, his name is Wyatt. If there is any patients or people who used to work here, like nurses or doctors, we are here to get in contact with any of you who would like to say a couple of words and speak to us. So if you could please make yourself known, we can have a nice talk, find out your story. That is why we are here. Okay. Whoa. Okay. Whoa. So we do have some rules for being here. You're not allowed to harm us or physically touch us in any way. We are protected by the white light and we only wish to communicate with you and let your story be heard. Please feel free to touch your environment or try to speak to us out loud. We'll try our best to hear you, but you're not allowed to touch us or follow us. There's an object that we had set on the floor right here. If you'd like to give us a sign, all you do is you walk up to this object. There's a metal antenna that you come up to, you get close to it, and you touch it. Is that talking? Yeah. 
So that talking? Yeah. What was that? You swear? Swear. You just heard exactly what I heard. Uh huh. I did too. That was a knock or a thump of something. This object, if you hold on to that metal rod, it'll light up and it'll let us know that you are here. It'll show us what direction we need to go. Hopefully we can communicate and speak to you. There's also a man known to be here. We want to know if you are a doctor or you were a patient. We're going to leave this object here alone. This object here in my hand. So you have something that'll show us that you're over there and this object here in my hand you can use to speak to us. All you have to do is come up to this object, use your words, and that will give you the ability to communicate with us. You've been dreaming ass off. Kill. and kill. That was really fast. Right away. Literally as soon as we came in. What do you mean by cremate? Did you get cremated here? If there is a crematory here, and if you were the one who got cremated and you're just still here, maybe give us a sign if you are here. Don't be shy. We'd like to know your story, like I said. What are the odds that it would say cremation and kill? That was a sigh or something right back there. You over there? Maybe you can let us know which room you are in. We'll go right to you. Is this the room that you were in? Did you guys? Yeah. Said no. Said no? No. Either way, I don't like this room at all. Whose room was this? Anybody you knew? Frigid. Frigid. Two knocks or two steps. Yeah. Where did those even come from? Somewhere close by. Which way? Back, Back right there. Have you been? Sounds behind you. I have this object. If you do not want to speak through this, or if you don't have enough energy, I'm gonna try. Cold. Just said cold. It's frigid too. Yeah, frigid and cold. Is it too cold in here for you? Would you like us to turn the heat up? Wife. I just heard that scream. You did? I did. And then it just said wife. Yeah, I heard something before it and then that. We were just asking who got cremated here. Maybe they're talking about their wife or something. Right. Hmm. Could be. Maybe it's somebody who couldn't let go of their wife and they're back here because this is where their wife was cremated, probably took her last breath or something. I'm just ballparking here. If you'd like to come and speak into this object here in my hand, I'm gonna set this down right here and ask you a couple of questions. And if you can, please answer them. I'm gonna use your energy. You could use the energy out of this, out of the thing in his hand or the thing in his hand. Use everything you have. Is there a male or a female here? Are you trapped here? How many people are here? What is your name? Is there a male or a female here? Are you trapped here? Nobody's touching it. Nobody is touching Nobody this. Touch it. Are you trapped here? Nobody's touching it. Nobody is touching Nobody this. Touch it. That sounded like something was touching. How many people are yeah, here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is your name? 
Someone touched the like somebody like lightly brushed it. Yes, yeah, something lightly brushed it. That's all we got. I'm gonna try this one more time. Please walk up to this object and speak to us. If that was you who just touched that device right there, can you do it again the same way? Are you in this room with us? How old are you? Do you not want to talk to us? By any chance, are you the old nurse that patients and workers have seen here? If that was you who just touched that device right there, can you do it again the same way? Can you do it again the same way? Yeah. Are you in this room with us? How old are you? I heard something there. Sorry. By any chance, are you the old nurse that patients and workers have seen here? That was it. That was a good one. Did that was say, a good one. What did it say? I, th I, I think it, it said yes I am or it said something good, dude. That patients and workers have seen here. That was it. That was great. You're going to have to listen all the way to the end. The patients Did you hear it? That's a good it one. It was right I after heard. my question. You can Literally hear breathing. Right. You can hear breathing the whole time. Can't see. Thank you for coming and speaking into this object. Notice the ovulus is quiet too. Yeah. Maybe there's something else you'd like to come and say to us. Sick. Sick. Just say sick. This one, your room, where you were? Homicide. If you were in this room, or you're in this room right now, we're gonna give you some privacy because the curtain's up. Is there any way you can brush up against that curtain and let us know you're on the other side and you're okay? Even the lightest touch. Yo. Yeah. Even the lightest touch. Yo. Yeah. Where is that, Where guys? Is that? Are you coming over to this room? Dude, that's in the next room. That's the room. one. That's the next room over. That's the one that we just went. No, the one with the door. Girlfriend, before that. Yell! Reveal. Yell! Reveal. Yell! Reveal. Ready? 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 Yell. Yell. Reveal. Please yell for us. What? That was running. Please yell for us. What? That was f***ing running. Reveal! What the f***? Did it just say children? Did it just say children? Children yell reveal. Hide and seek? Dude. I think we should go check to make sure nobody's here because that's scary. Whoa, what? Feed bad hair. Did you just hear that? Yo. What the f guys, I'm getting hella scared. Can Did we you just go hear out there? That, Let's yes. go. What was that? Please. It was me. It was me. Okay, we need to check that. Did it just say the basement and electrician? 
We literally have been here for, I, I'd say, a good five hours so far. We've done two walk-arounds. Nobody. We've heard all kinds of noises while we were literally setting all of our stuff up. Me and Wyatt had to go and do a full walk-around to make sure that nobody is here. Twice. Twice. Dude, I'm getting the chills, bro. I'm getting yeah. freaked out. That was really weird. Shoes. Do run shoes me. Do run shoes Wait. me. Meaning the yeah. running? In their shoes, yeah. That's what we're hearing. That's literally what we're hearing right now. Is that you running? If so, can you make yourself present to us? I said something in the distance over that way. Yeah. yeah. Make yourself present to us? Distance over that way. Like something in the hallway. Good. Good. There's somebody running up and down these hallways. I just heard a knock. We heard you around this area. Now we have two choices. Should we go left to find you or right? Tell us which way. To that, the right? Did that just tick? Is there somebody in here? Maybe give us a sign. Make those taps again. Thank you. You have a name you can give us? Well, what was that? Where was that? Right next to us. Right next to us? It's in one of these rooms. Is this where you are? Well, I've just heard a noise. Can you please hold on to this object that I have in my hand? To give us a sign that you are here. Can you somebody hold this? Please use your energy, maybe make that noise again. Did that just go off? It did go off? Where is that again, dude? It sounds the like same room with you. Noise. Room with you. What the? Holy shit! Did you guys just see that? I caught it, I caught it, I caught it. All the way red! Yeah, fully. Thank you for holding onto my arm. Or this object. We've been trying to find out a name. Find out who exactly is here. There should be a male or a female here. An older lady, I used to be a nurse. For the male, were you talking about a crematorium and cremation? You're also talking about your wife. Is that correct? What is your name? That is correct. Thank you. Thank you so much. For the male, were you a patient here? There, that's what I've been hearing. Down this way. I think we're coming close to you. I think, holy shit. We're getting closer, aren't we? Pretty sure that these used to be rooms as well. I think they were. Right? Yeah, pretty sure they were. These used to be, yeah, separate rooms. It's just endless rooms. Was this your room? Am I getting closer to you? If you concentrate really hard on a word, we'll be able to pick it up in this box I have in my hand. Yeah, what was that? Is that something rolling? That was so weird. That was the weirdest noise I've ever heard in my life. I'm not gonna lie. I'm feeling very... Not like the last... There's something in here with me. There's something in here with me. 100%. I just I heard, heard something step up to me. Are you in there with Ryan? There was something just in there. 
I'm sorry, I apologize, but... That literally just stepped right up to me, guys. Sneak. Sneak! It just said sneak! It snuck up to you. You're still in there, aren't you? Why are you sneaking around in the dark? Told you. Is it okay that we're here talking to you? You don't have to sneak around. Okay, that sounded like something got hit. Where are you now? Back that way. Yeah, that's that way. That was louder. That was that way. Oh, shit. What? You guys what was just that? hear that voice? What was that? I wish. It was like... <gasps> oh, shit. I heard that. Like that? Yeah. What the f***? was that? We're gonna move on to the front of the hospital. If you are around us right now, maybe you can follow us over there, or maybe there's somebody else around there that we can speak to. Anyone is welcome to come up to us and speak to us. You heard that too? Why have we not come down here yet? I don't know. We haven't gone down here yet. No. We stayed pretty centered, trying to follow their noises in there. I don't know what's up with that. Is there somebody in here? We heard running earlier. Is there somebody who can maybe run by? Use your energy to maybe close one of these doors down this hallway. Come speak into this object that I have in my hand. Is there a room that you want us to go in? One of these? Are you in pain? Mostly. Mostly? You're still feeling pain? Make a knock on one of the doors. We'll come in the room and see you and we'll help you. There, that, did you not door, just hear that, guys? That door. Wait, what door was that, guys? That was one of these. That, that might have been that one. Can you do that again so we know? You just saw something move? Yes, I did. It's into the hallway on the right. Focus. It won't focus. It won't focus. Can you do that again? What was that? Go this way? No. You can't even determine anything what it is. What was that noise? Were you trying to get our attention? <gasps> Holy shit! Which way? No, that's no way. Oh, I hope we're catching that. Can you run over here? Can you run over here? Off, dude. That's in there. That's in there? In there? Yeah. Where does that go? I think this is one big ass room. This whole room right here is one big ass room. That side's open. Let's check that door right behind right. That door. side's open. It's still here. Where is that coming from, bro? Watch out, where is that coming from? Is right somebody you. in here? Right behind you. This is the kitchen. It's the kitchen. Are you in here cooking a meal? By any chance, did you used to cook meals for the patients that would come here? Or the doctors or the nurses? Did you have anything to do with that? We 
Did you just move anybody? I, I'm not moving at all. Okay, yeah, let's move on. Okay, we're moving on. Like I said, come to the front of the hospital with us. If you'd like to continue to speak with us, we can ask you a couple more questions. Maybe you can conjure up enough energy to answer those questions. This is the rest of the section that got burnt down. This is what used to be called the Annex. This was the original building that was built in 1916. It wasn't until 1950 built the other room, the other building over there. So this is the older section, the part of the one that burned down. Is there somebody in here? We've heard about a little girl that's been wandering around in this hospital. I'm just gonna ask if they can give me a sign. Is that you? Maybe give us your name. There's an object in my hand. You come up to it, use your words. This is how we'll know if this is really you. My name is Ryan. Guy to my right, his name is Nick. Guy in front of me, his name is Wyatt. And the other guy, his name is River. Hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, is that you? Hey, man. Closet. Is there a closet here? That's a closet. Mm -hmm. yeah, Did you not even see that, Nick? What? That thing was just going off like yeah. crazy. It, it, it hasn't stopped early. Guys? Right. right. It just said right. Turn off the light, please. Are you in here? Is this your closet? What is your name? What makes this closet special? Why did you want us in here? As soon as we got to this closet, the object in Nick's hand had started to light up colors, and that lets us know when there's a high amount of energy around. So if this is you, Or what direction was that? That way. Mm -hmm. hey, what was that? That was the f***ing bed! I was just gonna say, that, that, that sounds like metal. Wait, what, what, what? I am so confused, what did I just hear? Did you just touch this bed? This where you are? Yes. Yeah. What did you just see? I'm telling you it's that way, I heard Someone that. just got thrown or something back there? Yeah. This is a little girl. This is a little girl. What? Coming towards us from here. What is right it? around the corner? Where we came from, yeah. And there's a big ass orb. You just catch an orb? Yeah. Should we walk towards that direction? I hear you, you want us to walk over there? I hear you over there. You wanna come say hi? I'm gonna set this object here on the bed. If you can maybe give us a sign, you can walk in front of it. This object will start to make music if you go in front of it. You can wave your arm in front of it. You can sit on this bed. Which? Hmm? That is so creepy. Set, set that on the bed. Please make that object spike. Use your energy. Hold on to that object. Make it your colors. You're sitting in front of this object. Thank you so much. Is there something you'd maybe like to tell us? Did you just hear that? What? You didn't hear that? No. scared you. Heard a loud noise. Kind of spooked us a little bit. 
I'm going to try and give you a little bit of an option here. I don't know if you feel like you are stuck here. If you are the little girl that we think you are, you do not need to be stuck here. I just want to let you know that. And if you could build enough energy, we can help try and guide you out of this place that you might be stuck here in. Does that sound like maybe something you're interested in or do you like it here? Something just touched my hand. Really? Yeah. Hands were right here and I felt it like brush up against me like this. Are you interested in that? Did you just brush against Nick's hands? How can I help you out? Is there anything I can do? Whoever here is interested in Nick and would like for Nick to, to help try and guide them out if that's what you are interested in, this is not where you need to be. So if you'd like, we can help guide you out of here. Just come follow us out of this front door that we're about to walk through. As soon as we get past that door, it's time for you to leave. You don't have permission to stick with us, but we're going to try and help give you this guide to get out of here. You just hear that too? Some of them came closer. I okay. think they're interested. Let's go ahead. What the f was that guy? I don't know. Damn it. I don't know if something was pushed right there. Loud. Loud. What did you do? Who was that? Can you do that again, please? It sounded like glass cr uh, crunching or yeah. something. I heard the glass. Like falling, at, I don't know. It's like a team, it was like a slide. Or yeah, something. I can't, I can't explain what I just heard. Loud bang in there right after that. I swear to God, I just heard someone yelling. You know, let's get out of here. Yeah, let's let's wrap, wrap wrap this up. Try and let's yeah. try and get whoever is here out. This is the door. This is where we can all leave. On the outside of this door, picture the brightest light ever and try to find it. This is gonna. No shit. Did you find it? Thank you. Now, use that energy that you just used, and you are free to go. Yes. Go to the light. Let go when you're ready. Yo. Yeah. Let's get out. Holy shit. What are you rush? That was so scary. What was that laughter, guys? You guys heard what I heard, right? Oh, I yes. heard it 100%. <laughs> like a little girl, ha ha ha. But you heard the knock before, right? Yes. Okay. Okay, Ghost Gang. So this investigation actually didn't necessarily go as planned. We tried to get a hold of the older woman who used to be the nurse and we might have to what we think. We kept hearing running and then it said children on our obvious. It did say children at one point. So this might have been the little girl. Now, as for the man, I feel like the man did kind of communicate with us a little bit, telling us about his wife or something. It's very hard to pinpoint exactly what spirit was causing what activity. We do know that we most likely met with all of them tonight, and hopefully we were able to assist whoever we could find the exit of this building because they no longer need to be here. It feels so, so creepy and sad here, dude. I, it, oh yeah. I hope we did at least get one Especially out. this one, dude. Like. I am gonna say this, I feel like definitely this investigation was a little bit more scattered because there was so much going on all over the place. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and we'll see you next week. Peace.